So Czechoslovakia was a bit similar to Bulgaria in many ways. They had the Czechoslovakians felt that they had fairly good relations with the Soviet Union. They felt betrayed by the West, by Britain and France, who made a deal at the Munich Conference in 1938 to give away parts of Czechoslovakia without the Czechoslovakians having any say. So the communists were fairly popular in Czechoslovakia, and the Soviet Union itself was fairly popular. Um, and so again, Stalin didn't really have to worry too much about Czechoslovakia and uh, well, have the capitalists taken over there, because the Czechoslovakians weren't really happy with the capitalists. Um, so Gottwald, or G O double T W A L D, he was the leader of the Communist Party in Czechoslovakia, and the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia they'd uh, managed to gain a lot of seats in elections uh, and become part of the government. Now Stalin and the Red Army were in Czechoslovakia, so they were kind of pulling the strings behind the scenes. But to give this idea of democracy, of liberal democracy, again because perhaps of the Declaration of Liberated Europe at Yalta, a man called Benes. Or Beans, B E N E S. Benish is kind of probably the way you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, he was made president. He wasn't a communist. So the president of Czechoslovakia was not a communist. Behind the scenes, it was really the communist, perhaps with the real power. And a big turning point came with the announcement of martial aid and the invitation to go to the Paris conference about martial aid. And the Czech cabinet was like, free money. Yeah, we're in. Uh, and Stalin was like, hold on a minute. This. Is a capitalist, imperialist pig trick to try to spread capitalism throughout the world. You can't go. Uh, so he denied them from going. And that was a kind of a turning point because the Czechs had wanted to go and Stalin had stepped in and said, no, you ain't going. Um, and by February 1948, the Communist Party had completely seized power in Czechoslovakia. It's arguable that without the Marshall Plan and the, plan and the Truman Doctrine, that Czechoslovakia would have made, remained as a sort of go-between state between east and west um, so yeah there you go